What better way to spend a night this Halloween than being here walking around an abandoned theme park? Welcome to Theme Park Worldwide! We're Scare City tonight. And we are really looking forward to this. It's at the abandoned Camelot Theme Park uh, that shut 10 years ago now. And we was actually here earlier this year for a drive through scare experience. Yeah, we drove through it, whereas this time we're going to be walking through it. Yeah, we watched a horror film at the end last it time. Really it was fantastic. I just want to say thank you to Park and Party for inviting us down here tonight to experience this. What they're branding as a two hour horror walkthrough. I know, a long one. This is going to be great because if you came to Camelot theme park before you're going to recognize a lot of the buildings I was proper geeking out last time uh, thinking oh look at this building there used to be a coaster there there used to be this there wow we're actually walking around we're on foot this you're time you're going to have a lot more time to see stuff I think we're going to go inside some of the buildings Ooh, as well I am really looking forward to it we can film throughout the experience but uh, here we go we are very much looking forward to this and I'll tell you what the car park's rammed I came to Camelot theme park loads when I was growing up and when I was a teenager and I never saw the car park this busy or this many people here when it was open as a theme park. This is absolutely crazy. We are very much looking forward to it. If you are wanting to come this year, they've only got a few dates left. It has sold out. They've actually had to add extra dates for the event this year. So it's proven to be very popular. Oh, here we go then. So we just checked in for our experience. And as you can see just here, it's even got a disclaimer. So I think we're going to be in for some good scares tonight, Charlotte. Oh, I hope so. Looking forward to this. Let the experience begin. Oh, look at this already. All the lighting, the audio. The good thing is you're allowed to take as many photos and videos as you want. He asked just not to use flash. There's enough flashing lights as it is. And yeah, obviously, you don't want to be flashing your camera in the actors' faces. But uh, yeah, it's a two-kilometer walk. Oh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you might be thinking, blimey, two kilometers? Well, don't worry, you do get a break at the halfway point, which is really good. I'll tell you what, though, this is atmospheric. Obviously, we're going to meet actors along the way. And yeah, this is brilliant already, in my opinion. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Christmas light trail with a Halloween twist. Yeah, a spooky version of that. Definitely. So spooky, really atmospheric. Now I told you viewers, I'm gonna be getting very excited as we walk around this abandoned theme park. There's a look at some of the track that's still in place over 10 years later for the Dragon Flyer, the diesel powered coaster. Some of the track was taken down for access into the site. But yeah, look at that, we can see it really nice and close up. Still standing here at the park. Oh, it's very smoky down here. There's someone in the smoke. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so this was the main part of the bottom section of the park. So yeah, Pendragon's Plunge exited just on the left over here. That's the thing, obviously I'm reviewing the experience of Scare City, but also giving you a bit of a nostalgia as well about Camelot theme park. So yeah, we're heading right down towards the back of the former park first, and then we'll walk down the other side of this fence. This is very cool. And who is the Very good, thank I'm you. So pleased. Who is the bravest of them all? Charlotte. Sure. <laughs> Ooh, both pointed at each other. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, she had a very spooky voice. Perfect for this. <laughs> oh, it's a Carney Valley. Wait, oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Are you ready? Hello. Oh, very spooky. Let's go. Starting off with the clowns. Oh, some of the old game stores just here. So obviously we drove all around this earlier in the year to check out that vlog. If you haven't seen it. These are cool. Oh. oh, 
Ich komme mit mir nicht schauen. 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 Body parts hanging up. They're fantastic, this is. Literally, the old games stores. All still in place. He's going for it. I love it. And obviously, a lot of this graffiti, not theming, all of this has been done over the past 10 years because obviously the park's just been abandoned. All the rides, or most of them, were sold off. Oh. And just some of the buildings remain. Look at this. All the old facades just here. It was fantastic driving through, but already walking through this is amazing. Yeah, the pathway is just done in lights here. What are you thinking, Charlotte? This is fantastic. Oh, what a setting. Oh. oh, terrified. Look at everyone. Oh, my God. Wow. I think this is a gift shop. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty sure I've got a clip from 2012. Inside here, good animatronics just there. That's the thing, a lot of the theming are already in place, all these buildings. Amazing, we are watching. I like how the foot, additional graffiti on top of the existing graffiti. Where else in the world can you walk around an abandoned theme park? Like, look at this. I still got all the plastic chipping off and everything. Really unique. Oh. oh, another abandoned game store just over here. All the teddy bears. Yeah, this is crazy. Look at the building, how it's just falling down over here. Condemned. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> Yeah, literally, all collapsing down. It's not going to be long until these buildings are pulled down, so I'm so glad God's come and step inside and see this again. I spent a lot of time here when I was a kid. I am really enjoying this so far. Such a unique experience as well. And here we go, we're heading into the Whirlwind Woods now. And yeah, this is our first reference to former rides that used to be at Camelot Theme Park. Yeah, because Whirlwind was a spinning roller coaster that operated here at the park, a little bit further up from where we are now. In fact, just at the other side of the Whirlwind Woods here. Oh, we can hear chainsaws in the distance and lots of smoke here too in the woods. <laughs> oh, it's going for Charlotte! Oh, my God. oh no! Oh, he's got a knife! Oh. Charlotte, help! Charlotte! <laughs> there Oh, that's it! Get her instead! Oh my god! I didn't see him down there! <laughs> oh, it's so dark! It's mine now! Bye! Oh, I've, I've escaped! <laughs> You're right there after that! He was coming from all angles at me with that chainsaw. You're lucky to still have me after that down I there. I didn't even see it was going. I left you. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, I was terrified. There we go. It's really hard to film this because it's very dark. But yeah, just being here at the former Camelot walking around, amazing. Like, look at some of the buildings around here. Wow. Now, the old balloons ride used to be somewhere around this area, from what I can remember. And look at all these buildings. Obviously, you've still got all the security signs up as well. <laughs> from when there was a lot of urban explorers and people coming into the park straight after the closure, you know, and that's when a lot of the graffiti was done here. But I tell you what, it might not be an open theme park, but it's so nice to see this site still utilized for ledger purposes. It really is. Enjoying it so far. What we got over here? We got a big uh, Land Rover or something parts up, is it? Yeah, <laughs> just over there. And look at that building. Oh, wow. Hopefully we're going to get closer to that or maybe go inside by the looks of it. That looks awesome. That used to be a little indoor area, I believe. 
from what I can remember. And this, of course, was the driving school around here as well, as we can still see from some of the signage at the top. Uh, this is crazy. Actually walking around, we're going into areas now where we didn't actually drive as well. So it's my first time seeing some of this in 10 years. You enjoying it, Charlotte? <laughs> oh, it's so good. But yeah, Whirlwind, the spinning coaster, used to be kind of opposite here from what I can remember. And there was a wimpy in a big tent. Always remember that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, that poor car! Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that must be the halfway point that we can hear in the background. But we're entering into the forest of fears now. I'm absolutely terrified. Charlotte's enjoying it tonight. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's good because it's something new that we've not done. <laughs> it is so smoky. Like honestly, their smoke budget is crazy here. Yeah. Like no wonder it's sold out most nights because this is fantastic. Now, if you haven't guessed already or never even heard of Camelot theme park, it used to be medieval themed, and yeah, you can see some of the medieval theming still over here. Yeah, I think we're going inside. We are. Oh, wow. What a setting, what an atmosphere. Perfect for this. I don't even know where we are now in the old park, but there's some good pathway down here. But yeah, it looks like we're going into what was an old play area shortly. Later in the experience, that building we just saw. Yeah, what's great about this as well is that you go through in your own group, which makes it even more terrifying. Oh, there's someone around it. It's that smoky. It's not the easiest one to film, this one, folks. Oh. <laughs> Having a little dance. <laughs> oh, look at all this just round here. Love the soundtrack. We got all these babies just hanging up there. Gruesome. Look at this. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Oh. I don't know what building this used to be. Oh, what's he, he's just, oh, he just chucked a baby out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what's he doing in there? I don't have a clue what building that used to be as part of the park. I don't even recognise this path. So maybe it was back of house areas. Whoa, massive guy on stilts just there. Oh, wow. Look at him. Whoa, he's over the fence. He's coming in, Charlotte. Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, awesome. Oh. Oh, I remember queuing up for Terror of the Towers, listening to this back in the day at Alton Towers. Back when Scarefest used to be really good. Miss those times. Into the blood-curdling Camelot Castle now. And this used to be a play area. I've not been in here for over 10 years. This is my last visit to the park in 2012. Wonder if any of that equipment's still in here. I love how so much the facade's still standing and look at all this. Don't know what to expect in here, Charlotte. How are you feeling? <laughs> this used to be a kid's play area. Now look at it. Oh my God. There you go, there's some of the old equipment at the top. Oh, this is crazy. It is so smoky in here. You can hardly see anything. All that makes it even creepier is knowing that people used to play in here in a fun, happy environment and now it's this abandoned horror zone. Crazy.
someone's head in there. Hard to make out on camera, but you saw all the clouds up there from when it was the play area. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant in there. By far the scariest thing that we've done this Halloween that just in there. Terrifying. Oh, that was amazing. I'm really scared. It's really like scary. It, it's because we're actually in an yeah, abandoned park. It really That's what makes it. Terrifying. Like, it's all the real graffiti I'm on the walls and everything. It. A lot of that isn't theming. No, like, no, it's like real stuff. What gets me is more the fact that when I was a kid, I went in that play area and kind of went Wee! and went around there. And just seeing it in this setting now is absolutely crazy, like absolutely amazing. Yeah, and look at the facade just here, crazy when you look at it. All the graffiti on the turrets and it's a got, oh, on a drone. oh, oh my God, he is actually on a drone! Wow, look at this. I mean, that's the thing with some of these events now; they're getting so innovative. Obviously, someone's round here controlling that. Ghost on a drone, amazing. Oh, there he is. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> hey, this is so cool. I love it. And there we go. There's the guy controlling it just down the side there. Great use of a drone. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant night here so far at Scare City. And it really is a city. It's massive, this place. I think we've reached the halfway point now. The resurrection zone here. And that's needed after how intense that was. Well, I tell you what, I am absolutely loving Scare City so far. It's been terrifying. This has been one of the best scare events I've ever done. I am so on edge. I am terrified. Like, Charlotte nearly had to come out in that bit, just. I started crying. I was just like, no! It's, got, it's so intense. It is, and we wasn't expecting that. Because we've been saying, oh, we want some more different scares. Uh, so we to really get us terrified. Well, Scare City's done it tonight. Definitely. Especially for Charlotte. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I mean, we're only halfway in. It has been about 45 minutes so far I walking through. Sit down now. And that's the thing, it's so well designed having this bar area, which I'll show you in just a moment. And also, we got cocktails! I need it! I'll say that, well I've got a mocktail because I'm driving, but Charlotte has got a cocktail. Like a devil's sunrise, it's lovely. Looks nice out, doesn't it? We're going to get some nice Scare City branded um, cocktail glasses here as well. Well, this setup that they've got here is brilliant, because as you can see, you've got the undercover seating at the side. You got all the seating down here, there's lots of food, there's a bar, and look at the view in the distance there as well. The play area that we just went through and was absolutely terrified. We are very much enjoying it. You got a DJ down there as well, there's a few actors around. Yeah, this is great, it really is. What a setup. So to get yourself to bar, get yourself a little drink, something to eat, have a little sit down. All that the girls are doing in the tent here, have a little boogie. You think you're just having a dance, I know what you're doing, you're staying limber so you can run away from it. <laughs> what a great setup, Charlotte's here in the nice little VIP area. Nice blanket. Oh, look at that cocktail blanket. Oh, really nice setup. They've gone through the first half and they feel scared, terrified, like they need a change of pants. Put your hands up for me so I can see who you are. Get your hand up. Welcome to the hook chat. Hey, got a bit of foot loose. Who's this coming in? <laughs> Woo! Fantastic! Oh! <laughs> oh! Terrifying! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Walk out the door. Beautiful. Just turn around. Now, how's the cocktail? How was your scare? Oh my god. <laughs> it's supposed to be a wrecked area. <laughs> oh, well, the cocktails were absolutely delicious. And yeah, you've got the buzz bar just over there. And yeah, you've got quite a few different food options all down here at the side as well. And there's also a fantastic photo opportunity here for Scare City as well. Looking out over that absolutely terrifying building. 
So I've also just realized where the halfway point is has actually been built where the old food court used to be and also Dungeons of Doom, the ghost train that used to be around here as well. Here we go then, it's time for part two. I enjoyed the happiness, now the sickness has kicked in because we're back in now, aren't we? <laughs> we are indeed, it's the medieval murder zone. Oh, back down there from the top section of the park, down the spooky steps here, towards the bottom section. I wonder if they're going to use the old jousting arena down here. I really hope they do. Oh, right then, so we're back at the bottom of the park now. And yeah, you've got the buildings, obviously earlier on we was on the other side of there. And yeah, now we're around the back. This was the old jousting area, I believe. Awesome. He's got a whip just there as well. Hey! It's quite ironic having entertainment in this area, back where there used to be entertainment back in the day. And yeah, that was part of the stage area over at the back there. And yeah, the horses used to come out from the right hand side. And where we're standing now was the grandstand seating before. And there's another look back at all of that area. What was the show venue and the game stalls? And obviously we walked around the other side of there, back near the start of the experience. Oh, I remember us driving through here earlier in the year. Percy's hot dogs just there, nice classic rollover. And here's Percy himself. But has he got a nice hot dog sausage for us? I don't know. Oh, here he has. There we go. He's holding it out. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm the little dance, dancing hot dogs. Thanks, Percy. That's lovely. Yeah. Hey. Oh, this is better for you, Charlotte. Oh, oh, put the right person for the dance moves. Yeah. Hey. Thank you. We'll call him Percy because he's outside Percy's hot dogs. Look at this. I like how it's all been slashed through. Oh, very atmospheric. Look at this, really atmospheric. And yeah, you can still see all the security signs here as well. Dangerous building, keep out. As we enter Nightmare Alley and spelt with a K as well, the same as how Nightmare was actually spelt for the coaster. It's really dark around here in a lot of the scenes. I'm not too sure how much of it's picking up on the camera, but I'm absolutely loving it tonight. It was somewhere around where the entrance used to be to the diesel powered coaster. And the mini golf was down here actually as well. Was this the entrance to the mini golf? Oh, we got the diesel powered. There's some of the track. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is spooky. Yeah, the mini golf. There's the sign. And there you go. Yeah, so the station. I think it might have been just off to the left here. Look at that. Actual coaster track still standing here at Camelot. There you go, folks. Over 10 years on. Look at this. Oh, that's made my night. That is just getting close the old diesel power that is crazy to see in that look how overgrown it is as well blimey and there's the track just going off into the trees there amazing to see this so overgrown how are you feeling charlotte <laughs> Don't be afraid. There you go. Come with me. I will show you where I play hide and seek. I know things no one knows. They're going to die. Oh, wow. I remember coming down here playing mini golf as a kid. This is crazy. Whoa! <laughs> it's like something out of a horror film. This is amazing. All the old wiring. Oh. Mini golf looks a bit different compared to the last time I was here in this part of the park and obviously we didn't drive around this section either. Some nice new bits of theming. Hello. He likes it. 
Kijk ze hier Charles. <laughs> Very spooky this. The, the what? Oh, he's behind me. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, <laughs> oh fantastic. Look at this. Fancy game of nine holes? of my Halloween this tonight, Charlotte. Like, you can't get better than this. So authentic. The crypt of Camelot just there. <laughs> the experience just keeps on going and getting better and even better themes. As we enter satanic panic just here now. It's all gonna panic here, I think Charlotte is. How are you getting on? Not good. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. Oh, oh this looks eerie. Keeps getting better. Oh, wow. We're seeing a lot more props and theming now that of course have been added for this event. Look at him just here, I think he's Wicker Man. <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Terrifying. Wicker Man, wherever he's gone, is chasing Charlotte. Oh. He knew we were. He went high, Sean. <laughs> you okay? I'm oh. <laughs> Oh, so creepy. We're heading up now to where the entrance plaza was. Just at the top there. Oh, oh my God. Blimey. They can hide in the trees and bushes. Oh, oh, that is terrifying. Because you run off scared. They come for you. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, what a way to wrap up our night here at Scare City. That was absolutely incredible. I think that whole experience has been absolutely fantastic. I've been terrified, but I loved it. I've never seen Charlotte as scared as I have tonight. I've never been so scared as I have been like that. Yeah, because of the lighting levels, I don't know how much I managed to capture of it, but that was absolutely phenomenal. What an attraction at the former Camelot theme park is the location that has made this tonight. If you're coming to this event, you are not going to be disappointed because it's fantastic. A great night out. It's 20 pounds per person as well, and you're gonna have an amazing time I think for that, that price. Is fantastic value for money. Really, uh, you're much better coming to something like this Definitely. than going to one at a current theme park. So you've got to think, um, you're there to go on the rides at the park, then you've got to pay extra for the mazes. Coming to something like this, um, you can spend the full night here. There's no time limit to how long you can spend at that middle section so you either. Can do your first section, then you can have some drinks and some food, and then carry on. And there's still loads of people going in. It's there gone is. nine o'clock. It's over two hours since we got here. Like absolutely amazing. We've really enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't got a highlight from the whole thing because I think it's just been amazing. Loved it all. Yeah, it really has been great. So many actors. I want to put a number on it, but it's hard to say. Possibly 60 plus actors, yeah, I'd say, throughout. Uh, there was a lot. There was chainsaws, there was clowns, there was fire breathers. So we went much. the scariest bit for me was going into the bell and the floor oh, play that area. Terrifying. All the graffiti on the walls. You've got to think there were so many people that came here and unfortunately vandalized the park after it closed. And yeah, all of that now is actually added to the atmosphere of the Makes event. It even more cool. You know, you're going through and seeing these condemned buildings, some of the stuff still falling down here and you've got to think that as much as this event's amazing you never know how long something's going to last on this site you either really don't know. Uh, you know i mean even last year some of the buildings at the entrance were demolished so uh, over the years things are going to be condemned even more and this probably won't happen here so you've got to come here and make the most of it while you can there's a few dates left to book so get booked
booking. Hopefully it'll be on next year and maybe they might Fingers even do um, the drive through cinema after Halloween as yeah, well. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we came to it earlier this year. It was kind of a and spring that was thing. really good. Yeah, and that was fantastic too. This has been even better. You can't be walking around on foot, coming from the trees, coming from the bushes. Absolutely phenomenal night. And there's one thing that I would do to improve the event and that would be a bigger finale at the end. Yeah, the finale wasn't great to be honest. I mean, you had a good scare running yeah, out. But I think when you've seen and done so much, it'd be great to have one big epic finale. Maybe uh, some big fire effects going off something, or something yeah. like that. Uh, but you know what? It's a very high budget event. They've utilised what's here uh, and added lots of new stuff, especially in the second section as well. Phenomenal night. Thank you to Park Thank and Party so for having much. us. And if you haven't already, check out the vlog from earlier this year when we came um, and did Camelot Rise, as it was called. So yeah, that was the uh, the drive through cinema. Uh, and then we actually drove through the park it first really as well. Good, that one. But uh, there we go. We've still got quite a bit more Halloween coming yeah. up here on the channel and then of course we're into the festive season very different to what we've experienced yeah, tonight different. but we've got so much planned over christmas which is going to be awesome thank you very much thank for watching you. and that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you all in tomorrow's vlog